Hello everyone, Realtor Mike Thomas here coming to you from the Palm Beaches here in Florida, uh, Palm Beach County, um, where I live. I wanted to talk to you all about um, buying a house subject to an existing mortgage. I know that there's a lot of videos out there of people saying, oh, you can make a million dollars doing this and you can get all this real estate. Um, but what they don't explain is what is it from the other side of the coin, okay? So I am gonna go through all of those things that these other videos just don't tell you, okay? So let's get started. There's gonna be some really key stuff at the end of this video. So, you know, please stay tuned until the end and uh, it's gonna be very educational for you. You're gonna learn a lot on uh, subject to mortgages. So, how it works is let's say you want to buy a property and so now you're looking at people and you're going oh wow this couple is getting divorced what a great opportunity um, to take their house so you're going to go to them and there's a video out there that says you don't need uh, a job you don't need to put any money down uh, or anything like that and <laughs> I'm going to just flip it around. Let's say you were the person that was going through a divorce or that just lost a loved one or that um, something bad happened to you. You just lost your job. OK. Uh, and I'm going to tell you what to do if that happens to you. If you're going through a divorce, you lost a loved one, you lost a job, some major thing has come along where you can't make the payments on your house anymore. I'm going to teach you how to do that at the end of this video okay this is the way that you're going to keep your house and um without being you know taken advantage of while you're down okay so here's what happens on the flip side of the coin somebody's going to come to you and say i want to buy your house i'm not going to give you any money you're going to let me take over your payments and i'm going to save you credit Wow, what happens if they don't make the payments? You're thinking the payments are gonna be made by this person, right? You're gonna go, wow, well, this, this guy's gonna make my payments. Um, did he give you any money? No, he doesn't even have a job. So how is he gonna give you any money? So it's just trying to take your house. Um, anyway, so now you're thinking, okay, let's say, you do this let's say you give them your house um and you can say hey listen take the equity of the house i can't afford it anymore take over the payments i just don't want my credit ruined i'm going through a divorce i lost a loved one i lost a job major you know change in my life so here take it take this burden off my hand okay i know somebody who actually did that and you know what he did he took the house after the owner moved out. He took the house. He rented it out. Did he make a payment to the bank? No, he did not. Now, after months and months and months, the last uh, address that the bank had for the owner, um, the one who's actually on the hook for the mortgage, because he's the one carrying all the liability. So he didn't even know that these letters were coming into the house that he moved out of saying, hey, you haven't made a payment, what's going on? You see where this problem lies? It's great for the person who is buying the house subject to, but it is not a good idea. So banks actually have things in the safeguards in place for this. When you um, sell your home subject to, the other person has to qualify for the mortgage, okay? So you can do that, but banks don't like that because let's say you have a super low interest rate and somebody wants to assume your mortgage at that super low interest rates. Do banks really want to do that? And the answer is no way, Jose. Okay. They don't want to do that. What they want to do is they want that person to qualify for the mortgage at the higher interest rate because that's how banks make money by lending money to people who need it and they pay that money back plus interest. So what happens now? Let's say you do have an assumable mortgage, okay? Um, that new buyer 
still has to qualify with the bank. So the bank's going to ask them, do you have a job? What's your debt to income ratios? That person is the same thing as if they were buying a house. And so when people tell you that you can buy a home without having a job, you know, without a credit history uh, or anything like that, they are not, um, they're not telling the bank that they're now taking over the mortgage. So now the, new, the owners have signed the deed, the title over to the person buying the house and that person may or may not make your payments. And this is not a good idea because the bank will call the loan due if the mortgage is not assumable and they did not go through the regular process of um, qualifying the new owner uh, going through the regular process of qualifying for the mortgage because the bank isn't going to loan money to anybody who doesn't have a job, can't make the payments, has bad credit, uh, and give them the same, same super low interest rate. That will never, ever happen in the real world. Uh, banks are way too smart for that. I do have another video that I will be putting out shortly. So, and this is about how to buy a home uh, the right way uh, without putting very much money down uh, and getting a property where you, you're going to need a job. Everybody's going to ask you, what do you do for a living? Because they want to know, are you able to make the home payments? You may not have to put a lot of money down. In some cases, you don't have to put any money down. I've bought homes where I didn't put any money down whatsoever. I just started making payments. And did I have any closing costs? Yeah, it was nothing. So I'm going to make a video about that, the right way of doing stuff. So don't listen to all these people that are out there telling you to buy property subject to by taking advantage of other people uh, and having them carry the burden and liability and, um, you know, to carry all the risk. Uh, where you as the new buyer coming in to take advantage of them, carry no risk whatsoever. So uh, I am Mike Thomas, Realtor Mike Thomas from Palm Beach County, Florida. And this is my video on educating you about mortgages or buying properties subject to an existing mortgage. Thank you so much. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Please leave a comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell.